are y'all doing this day? I hope y'all having a blessed day on today. Uh, today we are making some oxtail stew. There are only a few ingredients in this oxtail stew and I'm going to show you what they are. Okay, as y'all can see, I have my oxtails over there. Got my oxtails and I'm going to cook them in the slow cooker because I'm getting ready to go to church today. So I'm going to put them in my slow cooker. And so here are the ingredients. Here's my oxtails. I got a bag of whole kernel corn. I have some rotel tomatoes, some petite diced tomatoes, and some tomato sauce. Okay, and um, I, back there, y'all can see my seasoning. I got onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. And I also have some onions that I ringed up. So, um, y'all, let's get to making our oxtail stew. Now, now, I'm seasoning my meat. You can wait till you put it in the, your slow cooker, but I'm going to go ahead and do it here. I'm putting one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, a half a tablespoon of salt, and a half a tablespoon of black pepper. It all depends on you. If you want how you want yours done, okay? It all depends on if you want, want more seasoning, you can do it, okay? What I'm doing now, I'm mixing it all together. We want it all to be well mixed. You want all your season to be well mixed in. You can always add extra salt at the end. You can taste it. See if it needs top salt. I don't like to over salt it. Because it's hard to take the salt out of it. But you do want your meat to be well seasoned. Now I'm putting my oxtails in my crock pot. Here, let me bring up a little closer. Here, I'm adding some water. I want at least enough to cover the oxtails. They're going to make their own juices anyway, but I'm going to add just a little bit of water in it. Because like I say, I'm making a stew, or you can make, say, a, stew, a soup. And I'm going to add just a little bit more salt since I added that water. I'm going to add just a little more salt on there. Because we want our oxtails flavored, okay? And I'm going to add a little more black pepper. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to... Y'all already had my crock pot on. I already have it on. And so, now I'm adding my onions. The reason why I ring my onions up reason why I ring my onions up is because some of my kids don't like onion, y'all. Some of them don't like the onion. They like the onion powder, but they don't like the... They like the onion powder, but they don't like the onion themselves, so... They can always pull them out if they don't like them. I'm going to put a few of them down off in there. 
soda for the flavor. Okay, like I say, I got them on high, as y'all can see. I got them on high. And I'm going to let these boil until I get back from church. I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, y'all, my, um, these have been on for like three and a half hours. And you can, um, what I'm doing now, I'm moving some of the, let me show y'all, see the fat from it. You got to be careful, you'll get some of the broth. See, the broth is that dark part right there. What I'm trying to do is get the fat off. See, like that. Look, see, that's what I'm trying to get off. So you just go around in the top of the your pot and remove the fat as much as you can from it. See, we don't want to get too much of the, we don't want to get the broth off here because that's the flavor of your oxtail. <coughs> Trying to get as much as I can. That's, that's what you do. Just go through and just get as much of it. I'm not going to get all of it. I'm getting majority of it all. But you just, it's up to you how much you want off of there. It's up to you. Okay, now what I'm doing, I'm adding, let me get it where y'all can see it. I'm adding some petite diced tomatoes. And I have some Rotel. These are original. If you don't like the heat or the hot, you, know, the, uh, the, you can get them hot. If you like the hot, buy the hot. But I just got the original, which has some spice in it to it. And I'm also adding some tomato sauce. Okay. Now, I forgot to show y'all how the oxtails look. You can do these in the oven. You can do it on top of the stove. There are so many ways you can make this oxtail uh, stew. Let me show y'all the tenderness of my... I left a few of the tomatoes in there. A little bit of that. Let me show y'all the tenderness of my oxtails. You can get me a pretty big, big fork. Let me show you. Y'all see? Can y'all see? Let me bring it up a little bit closer. Y'all can see? See how tender they are? See? They're falling in pieces. Just a little bit. They ain't all the way. It's up to you the way you like yours, but this is the way I like mine. I don't like mine just, you know, just falling apart. I don't like that. But if you like yours like that, you can do it. Okay, now I'm adding some corn. Some okay, I always use the frozen. Let me move y'all over. I always use the frozen corn. It tastes more, you know, fresher to me. I did rinse this corn off. This cost is in a in a package. That don't mean you don't you can't rinse it off. You can always rinse it off. The way I'm looking at this, I'm gonna have to add some more tomato sauce. Because I like the broth when it's a little more thicker than this. Y'all, this is so simple to make. And we're almost done. Right now here, you can taste your broth to see if it has enough salt in it. This is a good time to do it. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more corn. I'm going to add the rest of this corn. Just a little bit that I got left. I'm adding the rest of that corn. Okay. 
okay like I said this is the time to taste your broth to make sure it has enough salt and seasoning in it let me taste it see I need some more salt I'm going to add some more salt. It's up to you how much salt to use. It's up to you. If you like yours with a lot of salt, you go right ahead. Is I'm in y'all way? Let me do it this way. I'll make sure y'all can see this. I'm gonna see if I can take some a little bit more of this uh, this uh the fat off of it. Okay. I got some tomato paste that I'm gonna use instead of tomato sauce. This will make it more thicker. Also, it's up to you. Like I say, it's up to you. If you like the tomato so sauce, you use that. If you like the tomato paste, you use that. I think I'm going to use all of this. At least, yeah, I'm going to use all of this. That'll make your broth more, a little bit more thicker. I'm going to go ahead and just use the whole can. I'm putting the whole can of tomato paste in here. At this point, after maybe about 10 minutes, after about 10 minutes, you can always... Uh, remove this out of this um, crock pot and into your serving pot. You can always do that. You could have done it right after you, uh, after they got finished cooking. You could have put it in your serving pot. Okay, I'm going to let this cook just a little bit longer. Because it's ready. This is ready. You just need to just cook down just a little bit more. I'm going to wipe my pot up a little bit. Y'all, I can't stand that. I'm going to wipe my pot up a little bit more. Presentation means a whole lot. Okay, I'm going to let that cook just a little bit more for may maybe, like I said, if you want to, you can remove this from this pot. And y'all be very careful because this can be get hot now. Y'all can do that, but like I say, this can be put in a serving pot at this time. Okay, as soon as this gets ready, I'm going to be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. As y'all can see, I did transfer my oxtail stew uh, in another pot here. I, like I told y'all, let it cook for maybe about 15 or 20 minutes and it'll be ready. Okay, this is ready to serve. Now I'm going to show y'all my final result. Now I'm showing y'all my final results of this. Let me bring it closer. Let me stir it up for one last time. Make sure you stir it up really good, okay? Here's my bowl. Yeah. 
y'all see you put some more meat in this a little bit more meat y'all see those oxtails look y'all see them we'll put those in there Okay, here's my oxtail stew. I hope y'all enjoy my recipe. I'm getting ready to close. And I'm going to say, y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye for now.